Welcome back to Dirt Today Tona. This is the second episode of the unfinished business series here. And that is we went nine seasons and I, you know, lost interest. I didn't really lose interest. I wanted to do something else to get the excitement up because I made a decision to move my content off of this channel to another channel. Nothing went well and I deleted all my channels and am starting completely fresh, taking everything I learned from my previous experiences. And I'm just going to do what I do with no questions asked of myself. We've got Kingsfield Raceway today. It's $5,000 up for grabs. And we are not going to be getting that $5,000, but if we can get at least $500, we can upgrade our engine to the JV Aluminum. So let's go ahead and get out there, do some practice, and we will see you at qualifying. Okay, well, 16.7 was our best. So interesting to see these guys like this. Could this be our track? Find out in a second. All right, here we go for the money. This is the one that counts. All right. Sixteen eight, play. even with scraping the wall, not too bad. We really did lose a, at least a couple tenths on that wall scrape, but. Top 10 qualifying. Uh, we are technically faster than Brandt. We were reeling him in in practice, to be honest, so that's interesting. Well, you'll see the result of the heat race, and hopefully we'll be right into the A-Main. That'd be nice. I would like it very much. Well, McVeigh drove away from us, and we're going to get another sixth-place finish in the heat, so we're going to go to the B-Main first and have to drive our way back in. We'll see you at the conclusion of the B-Main. All right, here we are, last lap, four tenths in front of Hunter. It's kind of been a back and forth battle. As usual, we lost talent late in this one, but it appears that we, as long as we make this corner right here, are gonna walk out of here with the first place finish in the B heat. So again, we've driven our way back into the A main and uh, that puts us three races, three B mains, three A mains that we've driven into. So, like not to have to drive the B main, but until we have that upgrade, that's kind of what we're gonna do. Here we go, sitting at 11th, one place up, and we're in the money, and that's what matters. So, we might have to battle, we might have to fight, we might have to do a little tooth and nail here to get there. And in order to do that, I have to focus. So, watch the race and we'll catch you at the mid race for the, uh, the mid race updates. All right, midway ra mid race updates, and uh, it's damage to Higgins has put us in tenth place. I don't know how long we can hold that because he's yeah, as you can see, he's already flying back up on us, and unfortunately, Brant and Henke were my two options, and they are way in front of us now, so. Even Hunter's kind of gaining back on us with so many laps left to go. I don't feel great about this whole thing at all, but uh, maybe we'll still walk away with enough money to upgrade the engine because I'd like to be competitive for the next race, at least with the engine. I mean, it's not a ton of... Um, sorry, it's not a ton of horsepower increase, but it is a... 
it is an increase nevertheless so where we're battling to try to catch 10th place maybe we can hit that time and time again and start to get some more sponsors that's that's the goal season one just establish ourselves so that we can make a run for something by season two even if it's late in season two i'd like to be in the championship talk versus uh where we're standing here in season one which is just trying to compete for top 10 finishes and that's not not seemingly what we're gonna do in this one looks like uh, at best we're gonna come up just short but we may come up completely short because hunter he's made a bit of a run and he is now just a second behind us we'd have to see branton henke make some drastic mistakes for us to have any kind of a shot at getting any kind of positioning here as another lead lap car comes flying up on our back fender and that's going to bring hunter right up on us as well and we're going to get a nice little smack on us from a freaking lead lap car nobody likes to see that we'll give a tap back to hunter i mean every position is gonna help us so i'm not gonna give up 11th place so easily oh there we go we are just getting smashed on the side by that lead lap of car I, I can't come off the gas and just let him go flying past because i'm in a race and uh wow that had nothing to do with us so that was interesting and now they're right back in it. I kind of wish they had just stayed in front of me and not wrecked there. This has been quite the battle with us and Hunter. As we've got, what, four laps left to go, being a lap down. And he's going to cut around the inside, and I don't think we have anything to catch him. Especially with these lead lap cars. Yep, that's going to throw us into the wall hard, and we're going to lose everything. Big Bane now going to get a nice run on us. We'll see what happens there if we can hold on to 12th place. Love not to finish last again in the main. But we're two laps down. So maybe we can hold in front of McBain, but he is gaining on us. Just one second back now. Under a second. Great. We're on the last lap, but there's so many lead lap cars. There's so many cars that are in front of us. We just haven't been able to do anything. And there is Mick Bain right there. And he's got the inside line. I give him a bump. It's not going to matter because I would have gone up into the wall. Oh, he does wipe out and we'll take 12th. Whatever. We'll take it. Dirty driving, aggressive driving gets us better than last place. And that's what matters here. Let's see if we at least got that $500. Take a look at your finals. Fazioli, Finger, Cato, Anderson, and Grimstead are your top five. And we walk away just short of the $500. I am not going to upgrade until I can get that full upgrade on here. Uh, Joe Fazioli took the checkered flag. Tony Savoy could have had, could have done better. We're sitting down here in third, 13th place. And now it's kind of separating a little bit. Last week we were 11 points out of 10th place. And now we're 29 points out. So that's a big drop. Good news, we do have a new sponsor. Qualifying 10th or better. We're gonna get $255. Now we have the ability to do that. We actually qualify fairly well, so let's do that. For the next episode, which obviously we're gonna run the last race in this episode right now. For the next episode, we will have a paint job for this car. However, this one's gonna finish off at Anoka City Speedway. $4,500 up for grabs. We need $100 to upgrade our engine now if we could get a nice finish we might be able to upgrade something else even just one level up any little bit will help but we were so close to upgrading to that next level engine it wasn't worth going to even a second level engine because it's just a waste of money oh not so great for us don't think we're gonna get that 10th place qualifying here because we were in the 18s in practice here we go Well, it was clean. 18-2. See, we were just short of that 17 mark. We're 
that sucks but we'll get that hundred bucks that we need and we'll get that engine upgrade for the next episode oh 12th 12th place not bad um don't think we had it in us to get that 10th place anyway so let's go run this second heat and see if we can avoid the b main did we just do it did we just take a top five nope shoot last lap and we got a diamond right on us it's possible it's possible just gotta stay hugged on the inside not let him get it that's terrifying because i was a little too hugged on the inside it's gonna be a photo finish we will take a top five ladies and gentlemen we get to avoid the b main yes that is exciting Here we go, we're starting the A main. Joe Fazioli, Josh Ginter, take your front row. Fulton Henke in row number two. Finger and Cato, row number three. Grimstead, Truitt, row number four. And there we are on the outside of row number five. Starting this one out in 10th place. So the goal obviously is already where we are. Can we hold it? Probably not, because we had to fight our tails off even to get to where we were. Um, whoops, whoops, whoops. Got a little, got a little tight, grippy, whatever. Shot us across the inside of the track. That'll damage some tr cars. Almost said trucks. Only got to say trucks for one of the series here, so I don't know why that came to mind, but here we are dropping spots and damaged pretty well now so uh good news is we will get at least that hundred dollar 125 dollar bonus or whatever it is i don't know car kind of sucks and uh the a main is way harder than any of the other things on the dirt like they all run way faster than they did in qualifying they run way faster than they did in uh the heat races so whatever we're gonna go ahead and run around the track and uh, we'll give you a mid or late race update kind of scrap this car pretty bad already anyway As you can see, uh, halfway mark of the race, and we are sitting three seconds behind Fazioli. Fazioli has a victory this season, so why he's trailing so bad on this track is pretty odd. But it doesn't matter because we're three seconds behind, so we're just going to run these uh, nice little short ovals and finish this race and see you, uh, see you at that end because this is not very exciting at all. Enjoy watching it. I think I put music to this, so enjoy that as well. here we go last lap uh you know fazioli we got within four seconds of him at one point but you know it's a messy race not any power in the engine so we'll finish out here bottom of the pack and um, we'll take the money put an upgrade on the car be ready for race number five matthew cato peterson finger ginter and rafter round out your top five only cars on the lead lap and we walk out of this one with $430, which is enough to get that upgrade. And just about that. Uh, another thing talking about how we are upset and sponsors are disappointed. Qualified 12th, finished 13th, sitting in 14th overall now. We have $2,875 in the bank. Ooh, that's terrifying because I think that... Well, let's take a look real quick. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and take the JV Aluminum upgrade here. 
It's going to leave us with $375 in the bank, but it is a big upgrade to our engine, 21 horsepower. And it also changes our red line quite a bit, which means I can tune this out a little bit better to get some more speed out of it. Hopefully, this is going to help us get those 10th place finishes we are looking for. In the next episode, you will see us run at Baxter Motor Speedway. That is also the last race of the season. So this is our largest purse so far. Going to be for $5,500. But folks, that is going to do it for this episode. I do want to take a moment out to say thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And if you enjoyed the video, please do hit that like button. I don't know how many subscribers I have at this point. Maybe zero, maybe one. So if you could, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I am not going anywhere this time. Thanks again, and until next time, take care.